Good day, everyone. I'm Alvin Asitores from the Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management at GSU Real Estate College, Pagani and City. Today's video, we are going to share to you what we have learned about the module of Vietnam. The first one is their flag. The flag of Vietnam, symbol of countries, a struggle against domination by the French and communist leadership. The star on the flag represents the country's national unity despite its turbulent past. Next is their currency. The one peso is equivalent to 477 Vietnamese dong. Next is the country information. Their nationality is Vietnamese. The terrorist rate of 95% and tourist arrival of 18 million. Their capital is Hanoi. National airline is Vietnam Airlines. And the top six international visitors are China, South Korea, Russia, Japan, Taiwan, and USA. Next is the map and location. Vietnam is located below the Tuyen Hoa and Dong Ha. Next is their airline to be discussed by Miss Mary Jo Sabak. Good day everyone, I am Mary Jo Pipito Sabak, taking up Bachelor of Science in Hospitality Management at GHC Release State College, Pagadian City. The airlines, the, uh, the Vietnam Airlines is the flag career of Vietnam, the airline was founded in 1956 and later established as a state-owned enterprise in April 1989. And next is flight from Vietnam to Philippines. The flight from Vietnam to Philippines is direct flight time is two hours and 20 minutes. The fastest direct flight from Philippines to Vietnam is two hours and 20 minutes, a distance of 911 miles to 1,466 kilometers from Vietnam to Manila, Philippines. And the next is tourism slogan. Tourism slogan of Vietnam is Vietnam Timeless Charm. And the five colorful pita lotus have just been approved by the Minister of Culture, Sports, and Tourism to be the new slogan and of and logo of National Tourism. And that's uh... all. Right. Next is the top destination to be discussed by Miss Gina Alvarasi. So hi everyone, my name is Gina Alvarez, a PhD student from JC State College, Padrian City. So top destinations in Vietnam, we have Hanoi, the Hanoi, the capital of city and a great start for many tourists to enjoy their vacations. In fact, Hanoi is more traditional and less Boston than what you mean and more conservative as compared to those people in the South. Next, next is Sapa. It's a mountainous province. It's near China and Sapa. It's the best mountain town in northwest South Vietnam. So and Sapa is always beautiful and of all seasons. Number three. Next is we have Halong Bay, the most famous destination, the most natural heritage site of Vietnam because it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Next, please. The top festivals in Vietnam, we have first that we have Tet Ngo Yun Dan. Marks the beginning of the Lunar New Year in the Vietnamese calendar and one of the most revered festivals in the country and it's rooted in traditional values of family integrations and worship the fog gods, most of them believe of the deities. Second is Lim Festival is another prominent festival celebrated at the beginning of the year of the calendar year. Traditional customs and dragon bo boots are common sight, bamboo swings, tag of wars, wrestling, fighting women. The second is, uh, the third is, we have Buddha's birthday in April or May 
Buddha around the world will celebrate Vesak, the festival that in Vietnam were conservatively speaking over 50% of the population follows Buddhist practices. And that's it. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Next is local culture. First one is nobody wants to lose their face. And the second one is the academics are revered. And the third one is elders are respected. Most of them are very respectful in, due to their nationality, their uh, naturalism, and hospitality. Next one is the local customs. The hello in Vietnam is Sen Chao. Thank you is come on. Sorry is Sen Loi. Goodbye is Tambiet. No, thank you. Kong Kam Un. And thank you for watching. And that's all for today's video. And bye-bye.